hugely successful day. Second day of Bloodhound SSC moving under its own power. And the first day was fantastically successful. Jet engine was working, chassis, steering, all felt great, apart from one thing. Front right brake would not come up. And this is a characteristic of carbon carbon disc brakes. If you use them lightly to start with, of course we have to test, start our testing lightly, there's uh, something called glazing where you actually polish the, the disc, it won't grip, and if it doesn't grip it can't generate heat to get rid of the glaze. So you finish up with a vicious circle where you can do nothing about it. And the other three brakes are stopping the car, we couldn't get that one on. So the challenge today, having them bled the brakes and prove them and check them, the challenge today was to try and bring that fourth brake alive. First couple of runs, it was still very, very sluggish, it was still cold. We were just repeating uh, the previous day's runs. Last run, uh, or the last two runs, we used more power, more aggressively. Two runs up above 80 miles an hour, um, which was in this very short distance, we've got less than a mile here, to get to 80 miles an hour and stationary again in a five ton jet car twice was quite a challenge. And the second run brought, started to bring the brake to life. We could now go faster. Turn the car around and we've just come back for the very last run, peaking at 100 miles an hour and we used max dry power for the first time. The car was astonishingly quick. Almost I blinked and we're up at 100 miles an hour, 90, I've got to throttle back and it swings up to 100 as the engine slows down. I'm already on the brakes and initially nothing happens and that's the scary bit. The car is rolling forwards because the brakes are cold, they're not gripping and all of a sudden they start to heat up. All four come up together and as we slow down they're all over 300, they're all gripping well and suddenly shoff, the car stops still over a thousand feet back having peaked at over 100 miles an hour. That is the sort of performance we're looking for so it's been a really really good week. Two days running and we're getting fabulous results. This car is ready to go faster.